Namaste. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do today. Today, what I have planned for you guys is to do an activity. Uh, I know that we don't get to do these really anymore because we're not in the classroom, but I think this is something that you could do at home, and it's something that you could do with just easy stuff around the house, and, it, and I'm sure like everybody has stuff that I'm about to show you like in your house somewhere that your parents will let you have, okay? Um, and the activity deals with center of mass. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually find in the center of mass of a random shape. And here's what you're going to do. So what you're going to need is you go find yourself a piece of cardboard, okay? And you want to cut out that cardboard into some random shape. This is just, I don't know, just... I don't even know what you'd call this shape, but it's just some random shape. Not, don't do a regular shape, not a square, not a circle, not a triangle, <clears throat> nothing like that, but something more random or something like that. So, uh, and, and where did I get the cardboard for this? Uh, this is from a box of waffles, all right, that we had uh, and we used and, you know, we're just going to put it in recycling. So I got it out and I cut, traced some random shape on it and took a pair of scissors and, and cut it. So go find yourself a little thin piece of cardboard like this. I'm sure there's something like that in your house that you can use, okay, and cut it into a random shape, okay. And now the question is, for this random shape, where's the center of mass? Now, in the previous video, uh, the center of mass is the balance point. It's the point where um, if you support it, it doesn't fall. And if you have a regular object like this ruler here, uh, the center of mass is where you'd think it would be. It's right in the center. You have just as much mass over here as you do over there. But if you have something random like this, that's a little bit tougher. So where would the center of mass be? Well, here's what you do, all right? So you need a random shape, and what you're gonna need is like some sort of pin, okay? A small nail will do, all right? If you have that, or like a tack, all right? Pin, whatever, but something like this, and go find something like this in your house, and you're gonna need a little bit of string or thread, <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just using some string that we had. And what you're gonna wanna do with the string is you're gonna put a weight on it. I just found this old D-ring in the basement that I wasn't using, so I, I'm using this as a weight. And then what you wanna do is on the other end of the string, you put a little loop like that, okay? And just tie it like that. Then <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you're going to use <clears throat> the pin to hang the string, okay? Now, I thought about this because I don't want you, especially if you're using a nail, a small nail, don't go poking holes into your parents' walls. I'm going on record right now as saying that, all right? So everybody can hear me. Don't poke holes into your parents' walls, all right? But you probably in your house might have some sort of cork board from like a bulletin board that you put stuff on or things like that, and you can use that. Okay, now if not, what I did, and what I just did, you know, just for the, the bedroom here, is I took a couple of pieces of cardboard that I found, again, from something in the basement, okay, and I got some duct tape, and I cut out a couple of pieces of cardboard like this, all right, and then I duct tape them together, and I'm just duct taping it to the um, closet door, as Grandma Golis would say like so. And that's what I'm going to put the pin in so I don't put the pin into the door because I think my wife would get a little upset and I really don't. I really don't want to deal with that. So um, anyway, what you do is this, right? So you take your random shape in your pin, okay? And you punch a hole in your random shape, okay, with the pin. And make sure and do this kind of move it around a little bit, okay? So you put it in there like that, and move it around a little bit to make the hole a little bit wider, and then you put it up in whatever you're hanging it on, like that. And you wanna do it so this thing can swing, all right? Don't like, don't like lock it in there like that. That's, that, that's not gonna work that way, all right? And what you do is pull it out a little bit, make sure it can swing freely, because you want gravity to draw this straight down. Because remember, what, what is gravity really acting on? It's really acting on the center of mass, okay? So what's, what winds up happening is the center of mass will be below, the thing will orient itself so that the center of mass is below the pin. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a line. So 
So you take your string with your weight on it, and then you put it on the pin like that. Okay. And then, you know, stop it from moving. Kind of like that. And then um, take some sort of writing instrument, pencil, whatever. I'm going to use a Sharpie. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ruler. And if you don't have a ruler, just some sort of straight edge that you could use um, from your house. And what you want to do is you want to put it right up in line with the string as much as possible, as accurately as you can. Whoops. And try not to move the thing too much. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. And I'm going to put a little tick mark right there. Okay. And that's where the string went down. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now I'm going to go off camera do this for a second. I'm going to draw a line with the straight edge in between the hole and the tick mark where the string uh, where I know that the string um, went through. So here the string went straight down there. So I'm just going to draw a little line. I'm going to do it. Hold on. I'm off. I'll just go off here for a second. Put my dresser, draw my line. And so there I have it. There we go. Okay. And so I'm going to draw a line like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do this two more times and you're going to do it in random places around the object. So I'm going to take my object my pin here. Okay. And I'm going to put another hole in it. And in this case, I'm going to do it like right here. Okay. And punch it through and do the same thing. Kind of work it around a little bit. Then I'm going to put it up again. And again, make sure that it can swing freely a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to put my string with the loop and I'm going to put it on there. And again, you're going to want, you're going to do, you're going to make three lines. Okay. And the concept is that where those lines intersect, that's where the center of mass is of this random object. And that's how, that's one method that you can use to find it. And I'm going to ask that you do that at home. So I'm going to do this again. And I can see where the string is, and I'm going to put a little tick mark there. Okay. I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to draw another line quickly. I'm going to go off camera here for a second. I'm draw another line. And here it goes. Okay. So now I have two lines on there, and now I'm going to do a third. Okay. So I'll do it one more time, and I'm going to pick random point. So I'm just going to put it right through there, make it a little big, so that this thing can swing freely. Put it up there like that, like that. Okay. And you can see that this thing is starting to whoops, hang in there. There we go converge like right about there okay so it's not the it's not a perfectly accurate method but it's not bad either okay and it, and it works fairly well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little tick mark right here about there put that up there I'm going to do my third line from the hole to the tick mark And you can see that I have the lines converging pretty much at a common point. It's not perfect. Okay, a little bit of swinging around. The more, the more you can study things, I'm also doing this quickly. The more you can study things and keep this thing from swinging. Phone's ringing. Love that when that happens. When I'm making a video, I, I got to learn to get the phone out of the room. All right. <clears throat> Anywho. Okay, so, um, so I got it right there. And there where those three lines intersect is my center of mass. And sure enough, I put my finger under that point and it's, it's balancing pretty well. Okay. So, because remember the center of mass is also the balance point of the object. If you support the center of mass, the object doesn't fall. So I want you, this is your assignment for today. Go get the materials, gather them around the house. Okay. 
Make sure your parents know what you're doing so they don't get a little bit scared when they see you uh, dragging out nails and pins and string and ripping out cardboard from things. Okay, and, um, and fashion, something like this. You could do, obviously, a totally different shape than what I have. I don't care what the shape is as long as it's not uniform. Okay, what do I mean by uniform? Something like this. This is uniform. It's the same throughout. It's symmetric. We don't want that. Okay, um, we want something random. Okay, all right. So, good luck. Try it out. What I want you guys to do then is... Um, take a picture, not just one, but several pictures of you doing it and drawing the lines and insert it into a Google Doc. You could do that. Or just have somebody uh, take a video of you doing it with your phone. That'll work also. Not a long one. I don't want like a huge five, ten minute video. Just like, a, you know, a few seconds where you like take a few like video shots, maybe even put them together. I don't know. Um, but so some way that you can record that you're doing this and then show me the finished product tracking on that okay so anyway good luck with that uh don't wreck your parents home um and if you do then remember that my name is mr kelly all right good luck goal us out and enjoy your apocalypse